Our lives are shaped by other people in so many ways. You know we can have our casual, pleasant relationships. We can have good friendships with others where we're really interested in steadfast companions. We can be codependent with others for our strokes because of how twisted up we are inside. We can even be hangers on. But what would it be like to be a pupil for a disciple of a teacher or a master? Let's say with one who is of the very life force of the whole cosmos. One of the reasons God came is so we would have someone to follow. We can't follow after God undefined, really. We can't follow after God's vague spirit or someone else's vision or someone else's story. We can adhere to what God has communicated and follow after that God. But do we have an example? Do we have a teacher, a master of that way? One reason God came is so we could be disciples. going to be your master? Will it be a regular good human, a teacher of a religious way, or will it be the holy, the divine God in the flesh who came that we might have a teacher, a leader, a master? There is tuition, but it isn't so much giving as giving up everything and giving your all to following him wherever he leads you. This only goes to joy and to good. We're having a Lenten journey at First Presbyterian Church. We're invited. It's to become disciples. Thanks be to God.